In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the length and width of a rectangle if you're given the perimeter. So let's start with this problem. The length of a rectangle is 4 centimeters longer than its width. The perimeter is 56 centimeters. What is the length and the width of the rectangle? So let's begin with a picture. So we have our rectangle. This is the length, this is the width. Now we're told that the length is four centimeters longer than the width. So we have the equation L equals four plus W. Now notice that we have two variables in this equation. So we can't solve for L or W right now. Whenever you have an equation with two variables, you need another equation to find those two variables. So if you have two variables, you need two equations to solve it. If you have three variables, you need three equations to solve it. The other equation is the perimeter equation. Perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W. The perimeter is the distance around the rectangle. So keep in mind, we have L here and W here. So L plus L gives us 2L. W plus W gives us 2W. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace P with 56. So we have 56 is equal to 2L plus 2W. Now all of the numbers in this equation are even. So to simplify it, we can divide everything by 2. 56 divided by 2 is 28. And then the twos will cancel, so we get 28 is equal to L plus W. Now notice what we have at this point. We have a system of two equations and two variables. So now we have everything that we need to solve for L and W. So we're going to solve this system by substitution. We're going to substitute L with 4 plus w because l is equal to 4 plus w. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be 28 and then instead of writing l we're going to write 4 plus w so that was l and then plus the other w that we have here. w plus w gives us 2w so at this point, we have one equation and one variable. So now we could solve for w. Let's subtract both sides by 4. Twenty-eight minus 4 is 24. And we could bring down the 2w. So 24 is equal to 2w. Next, we could divide both sides by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. So we get that w is 12, and the unit the units are centimeters. So W is 12 centimeters. So that is the width of the rectangle. Now let's calculate the length. So we can plug in W into this equation. So L is going to be 4 plus W or 4 plus 12, which is 16. So now we have the width of the rectangle and the length. So that's how you could find the length and the width of the rectangle if you're given the perimeter. Now the last thing we need to do in this problem is calculate the area of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is simply the product of the length and the width. So we have a length of 16 centimeters and a width of 12 centimeters. So we just got to multiply those two numbers. 16 times 12 is 192. And then we have centimeters times centimeters. So you add the exponents and you'll get centimeters squared. So that is the area of this particular rectangle. It's 192 square centimeters. Now let's work on another problem. It's similar, but slightly different. If you want to pause the video, 
and try this example, feel free to go ahead and do that. Number two, the length of a rectangle is three more than twice the width. Now we're given the perimeter. The perimeter of this rectangle is 36 feet. What is the length and the width of the rectangle? So let's begin by drawing a picture. So we have L and W. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to write an equation that relates L and W. So we're told that the length of a rectangle is three more than twice the width of the rectangle. Three more than twice the width. How can we represent that as an equation? So if we read it from left to right, the length of the rectangle, so we're talking about L, is means equal. So we have three, three more, so three plus something, then twice the width, so two times the width. Now we still have our other perimeter equation, p is equal to 2l plus 2w. The perimeter in this example is 36 feet. Now just like before, since everything is even, we could divide each of these numbers by 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18. So we have 18 is equal to L plus W. So at this point, we have two equations and two variables. So now we could solve the system of equations by substitution. Just like before, we're going to replace L with 3 plus 2W, since that is equal to L. So let's go ahead and plug it into the second equation. So we're going to have 18 is equal to, instead of L, we'll write 3 plus 2w, and then plus the other w here. Now we can combine 2w and 1w, that will give us 3w. So we have 3 plus 3w. Now all of these numbers are divisible by 3, so let's go ahead and divide these numbers by 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3w divided by 3 is just w. Next we can subtract both sides by 1, 6 minus 1 is 5. So we get that w, the width of the rectangle, is 5, and the unit will be in feet, so 5 feet. Now that we have W, let's go ahead and plug that in to get L. So L is 3 plus 2W, so let's replace W with 5. 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 plus 3 is 13. So the left of the rectangle is 13 feet. And that makes sense because L plus W is 18, 5 plus 13 is 18. So that's it for part A. We now have the length and the width of the rectangle. Now the last thing that we need to do is calculate the area of the rectangle. So area is length times width. The length is 13 feet. The width is 5 feet. 13 times 5 is 65. And feet times feet, if we add the exponents, that's going to give us square feet. So the area is 65 square feet. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to find the length and the width of the rectangle if you're given the perimeter. Now the only way this is going to work out is you need to be given a sentence that relates the length to the width of the rectangle. Because without that sentence, you can't solve this problem unless you're given the area of the rectangle.